Hello and welcome to 360 Friday. This is RV Travel Buddy. Today we're going to start off with the Deschutes Brewery in Bend, Oregon. And we're going to do the tour. So we're going to take the camera in there and get some good shots for you. I want to remind you if this looks fuzzy to you or it's not playing right, um, go down to the bottom of the screen and click on the icon that says YouTube and go to the YouTube platform. When you're on the YouTube platform, make sure you're set for HD 720 or high definition. And that will clear up the picture and you'll be able to enjoy the 360. If you're watching this video and you just see my hand or just see something, it means that you need to move on the screen with your cursor. Or move, if you're viewing this through a cell phone, you can view up and down. So enjoy the show. After the brewery, we're going to show you a video from Stillhead Falls. And that's really enjoyable. Once again, just move the cursor or move your phone so you can see 360 all the way around. So I hope you enjoy the show. Thank you for watching. Enjoy. So we're inside the tasting room right now so you can see all around. When you come in here, you uh, get a chance to try four samples each. And so Sherry and I are just going to start with a couple tasters and then when we're done with the um, tour we'll try some more but take a look around as you can see everything I'm good for now good so the tour so. all right thank you so it's an excellent film for the water too good we make English style ends they require hard water the water here is not hard it's soft works good for pilsners works good for your shower in the morning not so good for English style ends we actually have to harden the water during the boiling process Calcium calcium sulfate, otherwise known as rose and gypsum, so it gives us minerals, it's calcium, it's connectors, what it requires to make our style of beer. We also do for charcoal filter out the chlorine from the water because we get up in the city, the atomic watershed, like everyone else. Once we've done that though, I didn't like him. Of course. He's going up Highway 97. Is there Highway 97? Yeah. Beautiful, huh? Yeah. Narrow, is it? Narrow, yeah. It's 24 <laughs> feet wide, so. <laughs> this is not the kind of thing you can go to death. No way. Well, that's 21 and a half feet across. <laughs> so we had that much space yeah, on the side of it. So three nights it took to get in here. Three nights to measure the highway. <laughs> Fermentation vessels, conditioning tanks. See the pipe on the top of the, of the FVs? That's how we vent the gas. The gas will rise to the tank, the CO2 comes down that pipe. With the hose in the pipe, we either hook it up to one of the pumps there or we hook it up and drop it in the bucket of water. Essentially, the gas escaped from the water, but acted as a seal, a hydro lock going the other direction. <coughs> Heat is regulated by use of double jackets. Coils on the inside, coral free cool glycol and freon system. You want to heat out and push your cool back in. Maintains the temperature for our inlet tail used at 63 degrees. <coughs> Excuse me, which is optimal for our yeast stream to do what it needs to do. We eventually drop temperature down to 34. <coughs> Excuse me, guys. To deactivate that yeast, it comes together, falls apart, it's easy to remove, we test it. It's still good, we use it again. As I mentioned, palate. They're depalatized, so the next room eventually making their way this way. The lower radar over there will take them down to the main floor. You kind of see them coming this direction. They'll eventually hit the rinser, and they'll be inverted. We turn them upside down so we can blow high pressure a lot of water inside to clean them out. You get out whatever was in the bottle from the scoop of the valve. They're sterile when we get them. But we want to make sure there's nothing in the bottom. If the glass is weak, we also want the break in the facility. Break on the rinse, break on the filler. Either one. Break in the middle of a pallet, ruins the entire valve here. Hi guys, this is Rob from RV Travel Buddy. This is a 360 video, so remember you have to move the screen yourself with your phone or your cursor. Today we're at Stillhead Falls and we're at the beginning of the trailhead. And we'll be taking you down to go see the falls. So enjoy. We'll try to get a couple of pictures for you as we go so you can look at it on the cursor. So, once again, make sure you set your viewer to high definition 720. It's going to be hard to hear me, but we're at Stillhead Falls in Central Oregon. Uh, this is the Deschutes River. And we're going to set this down and let you just enjoy the, the picture. So... Sit back, relax, scroll around, look around. Remember, this is the 360 video.
Just wanted to let you know, we are at the base of Steelhead Falls. I'm going to flip the camera down to uh, walk away so you guys can enjoy it. I remind you, you can move around with your eye. If you're using your cell phone, just move your cell phone around. If you're on a computer, just use your scrolling mouse to move the picture around. Stillhead Falls at the Deschutes River and Cricker River Ranch in Central Oregon. I wanted to show you another view of Stillhead Falls from this point. So from here you can see the falls and off to my right where it just kind of calms off, calms down. That river will feed into the Lake Billy Chinook which was a video we did a few weeks ago. Anyway, take a look around. It's really pretty here guys. We got some hikers coming up too.